exactly. And going back to you know security aspect, and this is where the VPN actually um, sparked an interest in routers. Because for the longest time, I was using ISP proprietary routers, or even, uh, and I actually purchased uh, a router that I use in every video now, uh, which is the TP-Link Archery C7. It's just an extremely popular router. Uh, I think it's one of the best sellers on Amazon, actually. Uh, but uh, when I logged into the control panel, I realized there's no features there. Like, so like, <laughs> like there are some basic features. There's obviously some, uh, some of the parent controls, uh, parental controls and things like that. But overall, actually, uh, it was lacking in uh, the feature front, and especially because I wanted to set up a VPN on it. Yeah. You know, at NetBlocks, we're big fans of OpenWRT. Oh, yeah. So we, we <laughs> flash our, our routers. Nice. It's, it's the link sys. Um, WRT router and that's real natural for this platform and it, you know it's an open source platform so you can load your own packages and I think that's also a useful way to, to load load your VPN uh, actually I wanted to make and I, I might be making a video about uh, on the different packages mm -hmm. maybe like a top 10 like most useful packages because there's so many out there uh, that you can use on open WRT and I want to make a flashing guide as well on how to flash it so people can, uh, you know, protect their devices. Beca because another, uh, again, another, like, big eye-opening moment for me was uh, the fact that most proprietary routers or just, you know, off-the-shell routers, they, they release so many routers nowadays. It's sort of like, uh, you know, phones, which is another thing we can talk about. Why Android phones are less secure than iPhones? Mm -hmm. It's all about the firmware and what the company ships, right? Yeah, and another reason is because iPhones have a much bigger adoption of the newest uh, software. Mm -hmm. So, uh, say I, you know, iPhone 11, 12, they all are running iOS 16, which is the latest version, and uh, the adoption rate is much quicker because there's just not many devices. I mean, yeah, you have a lot of iPhones, but they're all running the same, you know, uh, basic uh, processor and 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 you know. But I remember I had an old uh, iOS, um, an old Android device, and the vendor wasn't giving updates for that anymore. And I, f I found that the Lineage OS firmware oh, yeah. <laughs> just gave it a new life. And suddenly, you know, it was just going to the bin. And it was back in my pocket after after loading this up. It's really exciting to see the communities kind of building that. Yeah, uh, Lineage OS is great. I've used it as well. I had, a, a, I believe, a Samsung S5. Um, and it also, you know, just because, again, these manufacturers, especially on Android, there's so many manufacturers out there. You know, you got your Xiaomi, Samsung, uh, you got OnePlus as well. There's so many out there. And they release so many devices every year that you just can't keep up on making security updates for it. And that's the same issue on routers, actually, is that they release so many of them, they just forget about it, you know, right? And I don't know how often people replace their routers in general or, or phones for that matter. Uh, but again, same issue. And, and this is where OpenWRT can help and also custom ROMs like you mentioned, Lineage OS, because it comes with the, the latest uh, firmware. By the way, pro tip, if you want the latest, if you are using an Android uh, if, and if you want the latest uh, firmware always or OS, use a Google device um, because they are the makers of the Android system, essentially. Uh, You'll get a bit more of a lifetime of support, right? Yeah, I believe they give you like a five-year security update. Uh, mm. And different manufacturers also give you those security updates. But if you want the latest, uh, basically the equivalent of the iOS experience, Pixel devices, uh, mm. specifically. Um, and, you know, we're not the biggest fans of Google here, you know, because it does do a lot of, uh, you know, it's, it's a big corporation that collects a lot of data about you. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, Android specifically, yeah, Google is, uh, the phones are definitely the way to go.